Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Richard and welcome back to the chart of the week series where today we'll be walking through BROS or Dutch Bros Inc, which just emerged from its IPO base and advanced nearly 30% in one week and basically 14% today alone, um, forming a new price and relative strength all time high. And at this moment, it is one of the leaders, especially IPO leaders within this market. And in general, we'll be talking a little bit about how I approach the IPO base, which is the first viable consolidation since a stock IPOs. And there's a lot of history of stocks making really strong runs, 30, 40, 100, 200% from this type of base. Uh, going back to Google, PLTR last year, let me bring up that chart quickly, had a super strong run here. Uh, Corsair during the same time frame had another really strong run from this first standard base. And you've got, of course, Zim making a few bases here along the way. And most recently, uh, UPST is another really good example, forming a nice push here before consolidating and forming a longer base and then breaking out, of course, recently. So there's a lot of examples of powerful stocks emerging from this type of base. And let's go ahead and walk through kind of how I approach this setup. So first of all, I wanna see that a stock has shown some type of relative strength uh, during its initial run and then forms a nice consolidation. And ideally it's very liquid. And let me actually go ahead and plot the dollar volume so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Uh, so down here is the dollar volume amount. And this is kind of um, very simply, it's a little bit more complicated the calculation, but the share of the price uh, multiplied by the average volume over a certain range. You can see even as volume really tapered off, um, Bros was still extremely liquid, trading about 52 million in dollar volume. So plenty of liquid enough for institutions to be involved in this stock, which always kind of adds the probabilities of it, of it working if you've read the life cycle trait. Uh, so with that covered, you've got a nice liquid stock. It showed relative strength up the right, the left hand side here before the base. And now what I like to do is put an anchor VWAP from those highs and see kind of uh, the net sentiment of holders of that stock within that base. And then what I'm watching for within the space is some type of volume dry up and tightening in price and volume. So here we've got that at the bottom here, we've got an inside day with an overall tight pattern here for a few days. And if you just draw a DTL here within the volume, you can see it really tapers up. And even this day right here, the inside day was the lightest volume day since it's been traded. And then after that tightness, that dry up in volume, what you want to see is a breakout on high volume. And that's probably the first day you want to get involved with the stock as it starts the potential right-hand side of its IPO base. Um, and I completely missed it when it comes to bros, but I was watching it very carefully on this day because I saw that formed a really nice inside day on declining volume. And this is often a really good setup, a strong push up one day, consolidation on lighter volume, ideally pretty tight, and then an additional breakout kind of reconfirming this move. And this is when I entered my first position here around 49.64, that was my cost. And then we had a strong push up the right-hand side for the next few days, uh, kind of confirming the strength, confirming that institutions are involved because all these days were pocket pivot volume signatures where price, actually volume uh, was higher than any down volume within the past 10 days and price action was strong as well. Uh, now, as you get up here, you can see that the stock kind of gets a little bit more volatile. It gets into the eyes of the market. More people are watching uh, these levels. You've got some highs here and basically there's more tension and uh, it becomes kind of harder and harder to manage your risk um, and keep your entries really tight. So uh, with IPOs, I always like to go over to a 65 minute chart and you can kind of see what I mean here uh, right in this area. It's very, very tight. This is the really nice tightness that I bought coming out of it. And then you can see it gets a little bit more volatile intraday and doesn't quite hold the 10 EMA on a 65 minute chart anymore, but it does pull back to the 21 EMA for the first time. And this is pretty much why I had it on my radar going into the week. It was on my watch list and you can see it pull back into this prior range on the left hand side of the base. We're now above the anchor VWAP, so the net holders are in profit. And once again, we have a inside bar, this time an inside 65 minute candle. And from here, we get the same result as we did back here, an explosion from the inside bar. And I bought it with a little bit of slippage here at 54.18, added to my initial position um, and, and actually double my position here. And it paid off right away, which is the best sign that a trade is gonna work. Pushed up on high volume and then throughout the day went pretty tight on declining volume. And then once again, we had a nice push up 
And then you can see that we line back up with the all time highs and once again get pretty volatile and we kind of uh, frustrate anybody who's buying the true breakout and kind of just kind of pull back into the 21 EMA once again. And let me actually go ahead and add an anchor VWAP here. And you can see the same thing kind of happens. It's very fractal here. We have the sentiment of the holders get kind of flat and then we have a breakout through this tightness. Once again, an inside bar and this actually is an inside bar and up as well as a three bar break to the upside and that starts this push uh, late on this Friday. So a bunch of things come together here. We're seeing tightness and contraction in both price and volume, an explosion upward, go sideways, explosion upward, go sideways. And this is kind of the, the hallmark look of a stock under accumulation intraday. Um, so going back to actually first, just talking about the 65 minute time frame, I think this is really great if you want a little bit more resolution, but you still want to kind of avoid getting chopped up by looking at a five minute chart, a 15 minute chart, the 65 minute chart, especially for IPOs, really gives you a sense of the volume dry up, the tightening in price within these levels. And you can see that if you bought this bar, you can manage risk right at these lows, the lows of this range, or even the low of this breakout bar. So a lot tighter than if you're just looking at a daily chart. Um, and also looking at the 65 minute time frame, you can clearly see this dry up in volume as the stock forms out the lows of its IPO base. And we also have some confluence here. The, the bottom of this range lines up pretty closely to the bottom of this bar right here around 40, 41. And once again, you can see the relative strength during its initial push. And going back to a daily, one thing that Ray really looks at is high volume within the first uh, few days during that IPO week. And once again, there's a sign of liquidity that institutions are involved. So overall, that's kind of my process when it comes to IPOs, look for relative strength, look for liquidity initially, then wait for the stock to tighten up and try to push through that anchor view out from the highs and for this to kind of flatten out. And then you can either buy it on the breakout bar as it starts the right hand side of the IPO base or wait for a later entry going to a 65 minute chart. And you can also use DTLs as I use for the second buy here through 54.18 and uh, kind of try to buy those intraday flags as it pushes out on volume. So let me know your thoughts down below. Um, in my opinion, this is a little bit short term extended at this point, but we did just kind of reconfirm after two consolidation days um, and uh, things look pretty promising for the future of the stock. I have no idea how far this is going to trend, but until we break below the 10 EMA on volume, um, I'm kind of bullish. I'm leaning bullish. I'm trying to hold my position for a potential nice IPO advance phase. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.